Okay, so the light's pretty horrible, but when I do a visual inspection of my pack, I think it might be a good idea to pull them all out and just um, check all those fuses and check, basically double check all my work and make sure that the heat's not coming from something stupid. So let's do this. Got all the packs out, and upon first inspection, uh, these are first impressions, I guess. A little bit of rubbing on the bottom. It's actually rust. It's not rubbing, but the the bottom of the pack seemed to sit alright. I do have heat shrink for the bottom of that. I do have heat shrink, but um, I don't have it on that pack, obviously. So that's definitely something I'll have to address when I put it all back together again. The bus bars at the top. Let's have a look at the bus bars at the top. The way that these join up. I definitely think I'm going to have to do something more. Perhaps a slight revision on the way I connect them. At least moving forward at any rate. It's just... Some of them are just too flimsy and they bent. I need to bend them quite a lot to get them to fit. Now I did it like that deliberately, thinking that I'd need to have to fit them. I've got a few. Uh, let me see if I can do this. I got a few that I stuffed up when soldering. And I really stuffed them up, but that's alright because this is learning. If you have a look at that, if I can even get it in picture, that's just a crap shit borderline useless solar job but um, I'll take that one off and redo it but it's interesting because this is pack six and it wasn't at all hot so it wasn't causing a major drama uh, what I actually did was and I knew this going into the test I just sandwiched another piece of bus bar on top and then bolted it together so it was um, had a bit of contact there but moving forward, I will, I will look into doing that better. Uh, I have to order new bus bar material because I don't have any of that recycled stuff left. So that'll definitely be looked into. Um, I haven't actually looked on the inside of that. That's, that's crap. Every single revision is going to be better. Okay, so this is pack number one. We'll go to the negative side first. And the negative side is all nice and clean. There is no broken solder points that I can see. And that all looks really good. The positive side. Okay, so after doing a, a physical inspection, I did do a continuity test. Unfortunately, the continuity test doesn't take into account the negative is um, hooked up so that doesn't work I thought it actually did work so I learnt something there so we've got two broken we got pretty much number one cell there and then one down here so we've got two cells that don't work two broken cells let's rip through the rest of this and just do a quick inspection Okay, so the positive side on that one is fine. There's nothing damaged. And similarly, the negative is fine on bank two. No blown fuses on bank three. On bank four. So bank five. Again, a little bit dirty with flux. But it's actually on the battery, it's not on the battery, it's a plastic, on the plastic of the battery, not on the battery itself. On the steel part of the battery. Okay, that's a, there's a failure point there.
Where is it? That bit of solder there is not even hooked up. So, bank five, we have a poor solder joint. Okay, bank five also has a disconnected lead. It doesn't look like it's broken, it just looks like it wasn't done properly or something. It's not blown, that's for sure. So, both bank one and bank five need a little bit of maintenance work done to them. As you would expect with the thicker wire, the negative side is fine. So I'll put bank five up because I want to do some work to that one. Okay, what have we got here? Bank six just has one there at the top that's broken off. So a little bit of repairs on that one. <laughs> Check this out, bank seven. I forgot to snip the wires in between on each cell. That's not the end of the world, but yeah, how did I miss that? Okay, the positive side on bank seven. Didn't snip all the all the fuses in between the cells. Ah oh, well, that's why you check it, I guess, isn't it? Okay, that was a worthy little test. It took about an extra 45 minutes to pull it all apart and go through each one, but we found some. We've got bank five and bank six. Bank five, bank six, and bank one both have broken fuse wire. I don't think they're broken fuses, they're just broken fuse wire, so I haven't done something properly. I've really got to address those bus bars. Now, this is bank six, and bank six is the one that's broken. It's flapping around there. I don't know how well you can see it. So I'm going to have to assess the way I solder it up. Um, the other option is too, the, my engineer has a spot welder. So I might actually be able to take it down and actually just spot weld it back up again. Fair bit of heat, it's not like one of the little eBay toys, it's a proper industrial unit. So there we go, I'm going to fix all these little issues. I'm not going to record it because you're going to get spam with um, videos today. Otherwise, I think I've I think I've addressed all the messages. There was heaps. I'm sorry if I've missed one. Uh, join me on Facebook. I'm going to put little tidbits extra on Facebook, just little updates, little five minute things. I do enjoy Facebook better than um, Twitter, to be honest. Um, I do put a few things up on Beam, but. <sighs> I think Beam wouldn't be Beam unless it had Casey Nice that attached to it. So I'm not confident that Beam's ever going to go anywhere. That's my personal opinion for now anyway. So I'm going to move a few things around. I'm actually going to move um, that fuse box 25 centimeters that way so I can actually put the second bank in. I'm going to move that pack down because I don't want to actually use that bracket in the long run. I'm going to move that one down. I'll put my new ones up there. And we'll get all this set up for next week's tests. Okay, tubers, through the magic of television, repairs have been made. A mess has been created. And an update has been installed. We've got my good batch and my uh, good laser cut one all up there. All the bottom mounts have been heat shrunk and I should, you know, be OCD about what that not sitting in there properly. But I reckon that looks pretty good. So you're going to have to work out how to run all the new cables. I haven't quite worked that out yet. We've got another room, the plan will be, we've got one here, one here, and one there, one there, and then a pack here and here. So I'm gonna have six in the shed, and that one, the inverter, and that is going out. But that's an update for now, YouTube. I'll catch you later, cheers.